Dr. C here again. I apologize to the people who are able to get down to the mat. We haven't really done a lot of shows for you, but this show is for you. We're going to do a whole set of abs exercises on the mat. So they are all Pilates exercises, all Pilates. So again, a little different. And I apologize to the people who are in a chair. We've had plenty of uh, shows for you. This one here, like I said, is very specific for people who can get down to the mat. Okay, let's do it. Down to the mat we go. Arms straight back. Straight in the air and up. And touch your toes. And down. Up and touch your toes, and down. Up, touch your toes, three, and down. Up, four, and down. Up, five, and down. Now you're going to take your hands, put them in the back of your head like that. Don't lift the head, just using the belly muscles. Up one, bend it over, and slowly down. Up two, bend it over, and slowly down. Up three, and down. Up four, and down. Up five and down and now carrying on separating your feet the width of the mat arms straight in the air again up you go right hand touches the left foot and down up again left hand touches the right foot and down right arm down, left arm, down, right arm, left arm, one more, right arm, and left arm, and down. And now, legs straight in the air. Hands flat on the floor, heels together, feet apart. Slowly now, let those legs go down. And lift. Slowly down. And lift. Slowly down. And lift. One more, slowly down and lift and in pull those knees in you can just relax the back by rolling side to side just like that and now keeping those knees in we're gonna roll up pull those legs in knees together we're going to roll like a ball. Roll back, forward, not touching the feet to the floor. Back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and forward, and down. And now we're going to do the triad. The three exercises in a row. They are the single leg pull. Left hand on top of the left ankle, right hand on top of the left knee. Raise that upper body up. And we're going to pull. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, 
two, three. One, two, three. Pull them both in now. Double leg pull. Out and in. Out and in. And three. Four. Five. And now we're going to grab that right leg. Left leg comes down. We do scissors. Left, right, 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 left, and right, and pull them in. Roll side to side. Massage that back. And now, one more. You're going to take those hands again. Put them to the sides of the head. Elbows down to the floor. Right leg goes out. Pull your head and neck up. Right elbow touches the inside of the left knee. Left elbow. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right, left, right, and down. And I'll let you just rest for a moment. Take a sip of water. And we're going to get on with it. Remember, you can dehydrate very quickly uh, as a senior. Make sure you take that water with you all the time. Okay, let's get on with it. I'm moving a little bit on that mat, which happens, which happens. Okay, next, what we're going to do, leg straight up and straight out. Up, arms out. We do the hundred. side to side. You can do even better than that putting the arms out to the side and let the legs go left. Back up. Legs go right. Back up. Go left. And go right. And down. Right leg straight up now. Arms come up. Go up, try to touch your toes. And down. Up, touch your toes. And down. Touch your toes. And down. Touch your toes. And down. One more. Touch your toes. And down. Right leg down, left leg up. Arms come up, touch your toes. And two, three, four, and five, and down. Arms straight in the air again. Let's get those legs back again. Pull them up against your chest. Pull them right up. And roll it up to a sit-up. Now hands down onto the sides, right under your shoulders. Right under the shoulders. Now we're going to do a pelvic lift. And down. A pelvic lift. And down. Pelvic lift. 
and down. Pelvic lift and down. And shake those hands out. Those of us who have weaker wrists, you know, we have to shake those out every now and then. Okay, feet apart one more time, flat feet. Pelvic lift again. This time, right leg comes over the left. And we're going to do a push up. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Those are triceps push ups, the ones that we do going back like that. We will do some push ups, obviously, we're going to do push ups. Um, but at least for now, we got to do the other side, right? Arms directly under the shoulders, palms flat on the floor. <coughs> Let's do pelvic lift. Left leg now over the right. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Shake out those hands again. I hope I'm not going too fast for you, believe it or not. I'm going a lot slower than I used to. A lot slower. We're going on our side now. I'm going to lay on to the bottom arm. Top arm goes to the side of the head and neck. We're going to raise that side now. One, two, three. 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 And one, two, three. Raise the leg now. One. Slowly down. Two. Slowly down. Three. And down four, and down, five, and down. And now we're going on to the other side. Lying down on that bottom arm again. Top arm touching the head and neck. Raise the upper body now. One, two, three. 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 One more. One, two, three. Raise that top leg now. One. Slowly down. Two. And down. Three. And down. Four. And down. Five. And down. And now we're going to get back on our back again. This is the supine position. Arms overhead. And Raise the legs about halfway, and we're going to swim. Swim, 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 swim. And pull them back in one more time. Let's get it up again. And we're going to go into four points. Four point position. Palms flat, knees hip width apart. And first way, right arm goes out and left leg goes out. Obviously, this is for balance, but you can feel those abs tightening. Believe it or not, it's an ab exercise. Make it a little tougher. Bend the knee, 
Bring that arm back and grab the foot. Back out again with that leg. Bring the leg under, touch the elbow. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Now you gotta do the other side, right? Left arm out, right leg out. Bend the knee, grab the foot. Back out again with that leg. Bend the knee, bring it under, one, two, three, four, five, and down. Now, this is a good position to also incorporate exercises for the glutes. The only reason is, is because you're in the position. What you can do with the glutes, raise that left leg out, and up, one, two, three, four, five, bend the knee, bring it under and out, out, under, out, bend it, out, bend it, out, bend it, and out, and down. Got to do that other side. Out with the leg again. Raise it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Bend it. Under and out. Bend. Out. Bend. Out. Bend and out and down. Shake out those wrists again. I got those weak wrists. I don't know. That's something that happens when you get older, but I just have weaker wrists now. I don't know why. At any rate, let's go on with it. Now we're going to do exercises on your belly. Arms come out. Put it down on the forearms. On the forearms. This is called a sphinx. You can remember what the sphinx looks like. You're about halfway up. Now you can raise it all the way up. Good extension for the back. And down. And now the legs. Bend those legs up. Right arm grabs the left or the right foot. Left arm grabs the left foot. Pull yourself up again. And down. Arms out front. We swam back when you're on your back. Lift the legs up, lift the arms up. Let's swim again, this time on your belly. And up on to your knees. Time to get a little more water. No question you do lose a lot of water when you do Pilates, but you know, it is a very, very good aerobic exercise when you're doing them like this. 
Okay, where are we going from here? Let's do planks. Now you can do planks by starting out right on your, onto the uh, mat. We used to do them in our exercise class by walking out. How do you do it? Arms come up, all the way down, walk it out. Arms directly under the shoulders and walk it back. These are planks and there's a whole variety of different things that you can do when you're out there on the plank. Let's do a couple. Arms come up. Bend it over. Out you go. Hands directly under the shoulders, push-ups. Two and three. And walk it back. And up. So those are planks. Let's do some more stuff. Let's first of all get down onto the mat again. I used to be a lot smoother at getting up and down. I don't know, haven't been doing as much of this lately. Been doing mostly chair work. You get kind of lazy. So I apologize to those who were accustomed to doing this on a daily basis like I used to. But hey, listen, we're still okay, right? So let's get down onto the mat. And arms overhead. Arms to the sides now. Straight in the air with the arms. Let's bring the arms over to the left. And up. Arms to the right. And up. To the left. And up. The right. And up. And the left. And the right. And up. And down. Bring those knees in one more time. And just like we did before, with the knees, knees left, up, knees right, and up. One more, knees left, and knees right. Legs straight in the air again. Heels together, feet apart. Let's bring them down, bend them, bring them all the way back. All the way back. Far as you could go. Good stretch for the back. Support your back and straight up. Shoulder stand. Bend the knees, roll it forward, and down. There's one thing that I, I some, sometimes will send to uh, people for their birthdays, especially to uh, younger folks, younger folks. And the caption on the bottom is, can you still do this? What do I have for a picture? I have the legs out, arms out. Boat pose, boat pose. You don't have to bend your knees. Boat pose. And three, four, five, and in. So, yeah, 81, I can still do it. Pull it up again. Let's do some more ab stuff. I love the abs. Let's do the legs first. 
hand down, left hand down, feet back, arms straight in the air, stretch that arm over, and back, stretch it over, and back, stretch it over, and back. And now we got to do the other side. Legs back again, arm out, arm out, stretch it over. One, two, three, four, and five, and legs back out again, and slowly let yourself down to the mat. We're getting closer to the end now, right leg up, right leg in, to the side, straight to the side, cross, to the side, cross, to the side, and cross, leg down, other leg straight up, goes to the side, and cross, side, and cross side, and cross. One more, side, and cross. And pull it in, and try to just massage that back one more time. Massage actually feels pretty good. Roll it up again. And we are approaching the end of the exercise. I just want to emphasize the fact that if you can get down to the mat, there's a lot more things you can do for your abs uh, on the mat than you can in a chair. Not that you can't do the things in a chair, but there's a lot more that you can do off of the floor or mat. You can do this in bed. You can do it in bed. You don't have to get down to the floor that way. But that's the best way to get in all those great ab exercises. The initial crunches, the rolling like a ball, all those things are great for your abs. And they help the core. Remember, it's that core that keeps you going as we get older. And we gotta strengthen that core as much as you can and include in there the gluteal muscles as well because you need that for stability in your pelvis. So all those things are very important as part of your whole exercise program. Very good, this is Dr. C. I hope you have a very nice and restful day. Thank you.